In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to design a YouTube channel banner using Adobe Photoshop. Welcome back to the channel. My name is TJM and here we are already in Photoshop. And the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and create our new file for our YouTube banner, right? I'm just going to go ahead and click new file. And then what we're going to be doing is inputting the size that we want, which is we want to go to pixels. And then the size for the YouTube banner is 2560, oops, 25, not 15, 2560 by 1440 pixels and 300 dpi for the resolution is fine and then let's click create all right so here's our file this is our blank canvas that we're going to be working with and the first thing that we want to do is go ahead and drag out some guides right so you want to go ahead and click on your ruler here and drag out a guide like so while holding shift and you see those numbers on the screen that's changing while we're dragging that's telling us the pixel mark or the position of our guides and we want to go to about 520 pixels right exactly 520 and if you're not seeing your ruler right here all you have to do is hit ctrl and r on your keyboard command r if you're on mac and you'll see your ruler see command r see they're coming up right there and what we're going to do next is the exact same thing from the bottom so we're going to click on our ruler drag out a guide while holding shift and we're going to stop at about 920 pixels that's exactly 520 pixels from the bottom right all you have to do to calculate that math is minus 520 from the height of this document which is 1440 pixels then we're going to do the same thing from the left and right we're holding shift and just clicking on our ruler and dragging out a guide to 520 pixels same thing from the left which is 520 pixels which will bring us to 2040 pixels so we're going to stop right there and then we're going to do one more guide in the center of our document which is at exactly 1280 pixels and this is our canvas that we can now create our artwork for our youtube banner and what i'm going to do next is just go ahead and hit ctrl and s command s if you're on mac and let me just go ahead and name this lspv youtube banner and then let's click save okay so the first element i want to use here on my youtube banner is a photo right and the photo that we're going to be using today i got it from envata elements now envata elements is the sponsor of this video but we'll talk a little bit more about them later on all right so here's the photo that i'm going to be using today and i'm just going to go ahead and drag that in i'm just going to click enter and you can also bring in your photo by going to file and then place embedded if you want right no i don't want the photo to fill up the entire template like this what i'm going to do is hit ctrl and t for my transform options and then i'm just going to size down my photo to fit within the guides that i just created right ctrl and s to save and the reason why i'm doing that is because this narrow area here in the middle is the area that will be visible on your youtube channel when you're on a computer and then this smaller area here in the middle is what will be visible on a mobile device so you want to keep the important information of your youtube banner within this little thin strip right here right so what i'm going to do is just fit my photo within this area just to make sure that the model is completely visible right so that not too much of her is cut off and the youtube banner that i'm making today is for a gaming channel let's just say we're creating a gaming youtube channel banner you can create anything you want we're just using we're just doing gaming today for the purposes of this tutorial right let me just go ahead and size her down some more that looks about good to me and i'm going to clip this photo to a shape right let me hit ctrl and s to save and then i'm going to hit u for my shape tool and then i'm just going to drag out a rectangle which is almost the same size of my photo here and what i'm going to do next is just hit ctrl and t and then i'm just going to go to this h value right here then i'm just going to enter like minus 10 or minus 8 is fine as well and that will skew the object for me you saw what just happened right it slanted the rectangle for me and then all i have to do is just hit enter on my keyboard or just hit this check mark up here to confirm the changes it's going to ask you if you want to change your shape to a regular path and you just click yes no what i can do is bring the shape layer beneath the photo in my layers let me make these thumbnails bigger and then i'm just going to right click on the photo and then click create clipping mask and that will clip the photo to the shape that i just made you can do this for a circle triangle whatever kind of shape you have even if you have a custom shape that you made yourself 
And then I'm just gonna fit this photo some more by hitting Control and T, Command T on Mac, and just like fit it some more within that shape. Or maybe I can just hit Control and T on my shape and just like drag the shape in by holding Shift. So I just drag in one side of it like so, right? That's cool. Now I can size down the photo by hitting Control and T and then just like making it a toop smaller. <laughs> just like that and we're good right i don't want to cut off the mouse i want it to be visible that she's gaming right so it's within the guides that we made though. so that's good um i can even like zoom it in some more but you guys get the point right now let's go ahead and give this youtube channel a name Control and s to save let me hit t for my type tool and then let's just type some text right let me first of all change the font to Argentum, let me do like bold and then let's just write gaming or PC gaming, right? PC gaming, like what's the name of this YouTube channel? <laughs> let's just keep it as PC gaming. Then let's just click on the color over here in my properties tab. And then let's just pick a color from the photo. Let's pick the pink or the blue, whichever we want. That's fine. Let's click OK. And then you can see that we're coming together nicely here. Then let me just size down the text some more, Control and T to about that. And then I want to keep the photo and the information within this smaller area. That way, if it's on a mobile device, I'm still seeing the entirety of the banner, right? Of the important information in the banner. So let me just go ahead and bring the photo over some more like so, right? And then we have PC gaming right there. And then let's just name it, let's name it PC Gamer Pro, right? Because the, the person for on this channel is a professional of PC gamer. And then let's write some more text. Let's hit T again for my type tool. And then let's write new videos um, every Sunday, Monday. And that's way too big. Let me size that down. It shouldn't be bigger than the PC Gamer Pro, right? And then, well, that's still too big. And now I can even change the color. Let me just do, let me pick it again from my properties tab. Let's do the pink this time. Um, that's cool. Let's do, let's go back to the PC Gamer Pro. Let's do Argentum black. Yeah, let's do black. Um, is there black italic? Yeah, let's do black italic. And then new videos. For the new videos, let's do like semi-bold, right? And then let's make the new videos or the every Monday. Let's make that like a little bit thicker than the other um, text. Um, maybe let's make the new videos even thinner or even lighter than that. Let's do it some more. Extra bold, yeah, that should be fine. Let's like align it with the edge here, like so. And then Control and S to save all that we've done so far. What I can do next is I can even add the YouTube logo just to give this some kind of, you know, boost to make people know that, hey, welcome to my YouTube channel. <laughs> Here's my YouTube logo. I'm dragging that in. Control and T to size it down because it's way too big. Then let's drag it like up here. And what I can also do is like, if I wanted to put the Instagram logo, I can just also put a handle here like at PC Gamer Pro. Um, let's size it down because it's too big. And then the at the handle should be even smaller than everything else. Let's like drag it over here. Um, yeah, that's good. Let's change the color to a darker color, something more neutral, right? And then let's make that lighter as in the weight of the text. Let's do medium italics. Yeah, that's cool. And then control and S to see all that we've had so far. Or if I wanted, I can make this photo like fill the entire area. So control and S to save. Let's save the photo that we have so far. Let's group the photo and the shape. Control and G. Let's do photo um, V1. This is version one of the photo. Let's say we wanted to do another option, another version where her photo like fills the wider area of the um, of the banner, right? So let's make her photo fill it up some more control and t 
and then let's just go up here and increase the percentage like so right if i wanted and then her photo would be right there filling the area right and what i can do next is i can just Control and S to save, add a mask to this photo layer here by coming down here and then hit E for my eraser tool. Make sure my softness is down to like 2% and then I can just make the brush bigger, the eraser brush bigger and then I can just like brush away the edges, right? So it's not like a hard edge because this area will still not be visible, right? Only if you're on a TV. So what I can do is because on your computer, you won't see like the edges of the photo here. Let's just like keep it like so. Or what I could have done is because where she is, um, what I could have done is I could just like drag it down like so and just brush away the edges here. I could have kept that straight edge up top. I could have just like cut her photo on that line on the mask by hitting M for my rectangular marquee tool, doing like so and just deleting it and it would cut like a sharp edge for me, right? Let me use the brush tool to put it back there. And then let me do that, do that again. M for my rectangular marquee tool. Just delete that and you see it just cut a straight edge for me. Let me hide the guides, control and semicolon. And you can see what happened there, right? It just shoops, cut a straight line for me. Now, if I wanted to keep that straight line, what I can do is just brush away some more of this so the PC gamer is not touching the picture too much. I'm just brushing away the left and the right side. Oops, control and Z to undo. And then let me just brush away this cord area right here. And now I can just hit Control and S to save. Now let's put her in a little group right here, this single photo by itself. Control and G. Now let's name it Photo V2. So we have a version one of the photo. We have this right here. And then we have this right here. Whichever you like, you can use and it will totally fine. What I can do is turn back on the guides, Control and semicolon. And let me just move her up a little bit because sometimes the cropping is weird on YouTube when you're uploading your banners. So let me hit V for my move tool and let me just bring the edge of the photo above the guide a little bit. That way if it gets cropped weird, it's still fine for us, right? So PC Gamer Pro, that's looking real good. What do you guys think? And remember, this photo can be anything you want. You can name your channel anything you want, obviously. For the purposes of this tutorial, I'm just showing you the capabilities that you have with creating your own YouTube channel banner and on the banner, your Instagram handle or your website links, whatever links you put up on YouTube will go like somewhere here, somewhere here, right? And if I wanted, I could add some more elements like some shapes and whatever, but this is the general idea for your YouTube banner. So all I have to do now to upload this is go to file and then save a copy and then save it as a JPEG or PNG and then we're ready to go. Now, let's say I wanted to upload this on my YouTube channel. All I have to do is go to my browser, hover over my YouTube banner here on my channel, click this photo icon. It's going to ask me if I want to change my banner and then I can just find the banner image here, click change. And then all I have to do next is locate the banner that we just designed and here it is. This is what I was talking about when I said it's going to crop it and it's a good thing that we push the photo up a little bit right here. And if you hover over it, YouTube will show you the viewable area here. This is on mobile, this is on desktop, and this is viewable on a TV. So all you have to do to place your banner is go ahead and click done. Now remember earlier when I said that Envata Elements is the sponsor of this video, Envata Elements is my one-stop shop for stock photos like the one that we used here today. You can try Envata Elements free for seven days and when you fall in love with it, you can use my special coupon code to give you 70% off a month's subscription from their website. All you have to do is click that first link in this video's description. Have you ever designed your own YouTube banner before? Did you know that you can design a custom YouTube banner to upload on your YouTube channel? Let me know in the comments below. And if you want to check out more Photoshop tutorials just like this one, click or tap the screen to watch this video right now.